Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, data binding, how to do data binding in C Sharp. Usually, all the controls in C Sharp uh, has data bindings, but the most uh, common scenario is using the combo box, which I'm going to show you. Uh, you populate a combo box with some kind of uh, list of data. So let me show you how this is uh, simple done in very few steps. Pick up combo box. Let's give it some uh, meaningful name. Combo box uh, people. And then uh, I'm going to double click on the form to create to generate a form one load event. And I'm going to create a simple class here. which is going to include the person ID, name, name. Okay, that's it. And then uh, I'm going to create a list of persons. So we are going to call it people which is a new list of person type and then I'm going to add some people here add new person person id1 name Evina test another person this one oh sorry three persons I add to this list and now to bind this list to a combo box all we need to do is like this bind data to a combo box we say combo box people uh, data source is equal to people Combo box display member is what we want to display to the user. So let's add name to get name of the person to be displayed in the combo box. But what we want to get when people click on our uh, combo box item, we want to usually return person ID in order to communicate to some database or other different sources so we write combo box people uh, value member is person ID so when clicked it's gonna return me the person ID let's give it a try execute this here we go we have a list of people what if we want to display first as a name and surname together we just write a property here to, in the person person class public string full name and on the get we return name plus space surname and now we need to write at the binding full name that's it let's give it a try okay suppose you got this list from the database then this is the same scenario now what we would like uh, to know is how do we get uh, the person ID when a certain item is clicked. We do something like this. Uh, properties 
we select the combo box and in the event view we can use uh, this selected index changed double click here and uh, let's write a try cache here var selected person id selected person is equal to combo box people selected item as person and then we can say message box that show uh, you clicked uh, selected person that full name let's give it a try Thank you.